Hi, welcome to class. My name is Carol Palazzola. I work for the PACE program at Element Care here on the North Shore in Cape Ann. And today we're going to do um, an exercise class that helps with um, arthritis and pain management, but also with functional movement um, to help you with everyday activities. We like to call them ADLs, activities of daily living. That will help you um, feel more independent, safe, and um, well in your life that you can do everything that you want to do to keep yourself um, the best you can possibly be. So I just want to say thank you for joining and we're going to get right to class. All right, so we're going to start with some exercises and as I teach I'll be talking a little bit about our program here on the North Shore to help elders at home stay safe and healthy. Um, we're just going to do a little warm-up. We're just going to raise your hands up here. We're just going to raise and lower your elbows and this is just a, um, called a joint check activity to see how your um, neck is feeling, your shoulders, your back. We're gonna lift your hands up over your head as high as you can, as high as you want. We're gonna go in the back of the neck and then we're gonna reach um, in the back of you as if you were reaching into your back pocket with your palms down and give yourself a little massage. We're gonna come down and try to reach your toes. We're gonna um, round your back over one vertebrae at a time and then come up nice and slow. And we're gonna do that again. And come up. All right, good, we're just gonna have your head come to one side. Relax your shoulders. And then we're gonna switch. And this is really just kind of getting some of the tension out. We hold a lot of stress in our neck. Try to do the other side again. And switch. Oh, I just felt a little crack. <laughs> I'm gonna turn your head to one side and then center other side. Center one more time, and then switch. All right, good. We're gonna do the forward arm reach. We're just gonna come up with your hands as high as you can, as high as you want, and then come down. Try to breathe in on the way up, and then exhale down. So as I do some of these exercises, like I said, I'm gonna just tell you a little bit about our program that's sponsoring today. Um, the PACE program Element Care. Uh, we're a nonprofit healthcare organization here um, in Ipswich, covers all of Gloucester, Cape Ann, Beverly, and we take care of people that are 55 and older that have healthcare issues or healthcare concerns um, with our doctor's office and medical programs. They can stay safe at home. We're going to do one more. And exhale. Okay, then we're going to roll it back. And you always want to roll it back because you never want to encourage um, the curvature of your back that sometimes happens as you get older and it comes forward. So you always want to counteract that. So always go backwards. Awesome. Then we're going to take one arm at a time and go back. So um, we have medical offices here on the North Shore um, in Gloucester and Beverly. And our doctor's office is uh, very special, it's very unique. Um, like I said, we improve health, we enrich lives by um, incorporating a whole health care plan so people can be independent at home with a dedicated uh, care approach to how we deliver care to elders. We are going to go back to our legs now. We're going to give our upper body a little break. We're going to just do a leg extension up and extend our foot forward. And our toes are straight up. Don't point, just kind of flex your heel. And you're gonna feel that right here in the upper leg. This is your biggest muscle of your body, your quadricep. And this is the muscle responsible for helping you stand up out of a chair, um, get up out of bed, in and out of a car, um, in and out of the shower. Um, and all those are examples of ADLs, activities of daily living that I was talking about um, in the beginning. And those are the kind of things that if you find yourself needing help with, or you have difficulty doing home alone is things that we can do uh, through the PACE program at Element Care um, to strengthen you. We can provide all the physical therapy that you need or um, people to come into your home, home care hours to help you with personal care or cleaning your house or doing laundry or taking your garbage out, things like that that might be hard for you to do. Um, getting dressed, meal preparation, all those things, things that a lot of people would take for granted, but um, sometimes you get older, you realize you need more help with those things, and those are the things that we can address. Okay, good. We're going to try to hold it up for three seconds. One, 
two, three, and then switch. One, two, three, good. Other side. And then switch. This time if you wanna, as you have one leg out, you can take one arm out and hold that up straight. And then we're gonna do the other side. And then switch sides again. Keep breathing. Awesome. Okay, good. We are going to cross our foot now. This is gonna help you with um, getting uh, dressed in the morning, getting your shoes and socks on, foot care, whether it be cutting your toenails or um, washing your feet. So we're just gonna slide your heel up against your shin bone and then slide it down, just up and down, yep. This is the um, number one exercise recommended by rheumatologists. For functional movement, you gotta get dressed in the morning, you gotta put your shoes and socks on. So even if you can only come up a couple inches, just do what you can. It's a practice. So every time you do it, you'll get a little bit better and you might get a little um, higher. But the goal is to be able to get your foot up and get dressed. Um, and again, these are the things that if you find yourself having a hard time with, um, might be a good indicator that you would be a good um, candidate for the program. Whether you're a caregiver taking care of your loved one at home and you need a little more support services, or you are just living on your own and you know that you, know, you wanna stay home, you don't wanna end up to a hospital or a long-term care placement, PACE might be the answer for you. Okay, good, we're gonna switch sides. So cross the other heel and just slide up and slide down. Good. So all of our doctors at the program, they're all geri, um, gerontologists or they're also um, specialty doctors in the aging population. So just like um, if your body's going through change, you're pregnant, you're seeing an obstetrician, um, that's a specialty doctor for someone who's pregnant. A pediatrician takes care of children. So our doctors take care of elders. They're specialty doctors um, that take care of people that are 55 and older. So they can see things a lot sooner than maybe a regular doctor could. They know a lot of trends or um, things are occurring that something's wrong and they can really look at your whole workup, your medication, and make sure you're doing the right thing for you. All right, one more. Great. Let's go back to your body. We're going to bring your hands up to the side and just bring them in and out. So this is a lot of a shoulder work, but you know you have to get dressed. You got to bring your hands up over your head and bring down your shirt. Um, washing your hair in the shower. I'm trying to give examples of ADLs as you do this. Good, and just keep breathing. Good. Our program is all covered through um, Mass Health and Medicare. So if you're already on Mass Health, it's something you might be entitled to to help with your um, needs at home. Um, and if you're not on Mass Health, we can help get you on with a special waiver that we have with the state of Massachusetts. Um, if you meet the criteria for the healthcare needs, you can make up to $2,382 a month and still qualify for care to get on Mass Health. And we can help you do the Mass Health application as well. Um, send it in the state and hopefully get on the program and start taking care of all the benefits for yourself. I'm gonna do one more. Good. And then once you're on Mass Health, everything with the program is covered. This one's gonna help you with getting in and out of a um, chair easier in and out of the car. We're gonna bring one leg out to the side and then bring it in, and then the other side, and then bring it in. So you're opening up your hip, right and left. Good, whether you're getting in and out of the car from the driver's side or the passenger side. And so every time I do this, it reminds me of the transportation because we do provide full transportation to all of your doctor's appointments in the community, whether it be in and out of town, we you know, contract with the local probably hospital, um, Salem, if you have to go out of town, specialty doctors, um, we can give you a ride and send someone along with you if you need it, whether it be a nurse or an aide, and then uh, report back to your family or what the next step is, any follow up. But it's really good that we provide that need because a lot of people don't drive anymore or 
they can't get out. It's winter time right now. Um, it's COVID, it's hard to get around. It's, it's a tough time. So transportation is a really important part of our program. It's integral. Good, I'm gonna do one more time on each side. I'm gonna hold it out. Just kind of feel that stretch. And then come to the center and do the other side. Okay, good. Hope you're feeling okay. Take a break if you need to, or get some water, stay hydrated. We're gonna move on to our fingers. Um, a lot of people have arthritis in their hands. Um, so this is gonna help keep um, your fingers nice and straight. This one helps um, prevent deformities in your fingers that happen. This is another important exercise um, that's recommended by rheumatology doctors. We're gonna have your hands come right on your uh, legs. Your thumbs are gonna stay stationary, and we're just going to walk your fingers into the center one at a time. And then once you're all the way in, I want you to start over. So you just walk them in. And again, uh, just like I was talking about your shoulders earlier, I always wanna go back. You don't wanna encourage the outward motion that happens to your fingers when um, you get very bad rheumatoid arthritis. So you wanna counteract that and walk them towards the center one at a time and then start over. We'll do this one more time. Into the center. Okay, great. Okay, now we're just gonna bring our hands flat and just flip them over, back and forth. I know this seems very simple, but it's very effective. Um, the ability to even turn your hands like this comes from your elbow. So if you have elbow issues or pain, this might hurt. And so if anything does hurt, you have to, you know, just take a break, stop, you know, don't do as many as I do, it's okay, I'm just going along, but you do as many as you want and feel comfortable. But this is gonna help you with like turning over objects, like turning on the stove, taking change at the store and you have to turn your wrist, um, even serving dinner, you have to hold the plates. So this is gonna help you with anything you have to turn, opening jars, mayonnaise, pickles, <laughs> whatever you like to eat. <laughs> All right, good, then we're gonna come up and down, just up and down. Okay, good. And then we're just gonna stretch your wrist out a little bit. We're gonna bring your hands forward and then bring it in, shoulders down. Nice deep breaths in and out. I'll do it one more time. And then come down and up. Okay, good. All right, this one's gonna help you um, get in and out of a chair a little easier. So um, I'm sitting in the back of the chair. We're gonna scoot forward and back. It's called the hip walk. So kind of like bring one hip at a time forward in the chair. So I'm kind of moving forward to the edge of your chair and then we're gonna move back. And this takes a lot of hip control, a lot of trunk control. Um, so we'll just do as best you can forward and back. I'm gonna do it one more time, then maybe I'll turn my chair so you can see what it looks like from the side that I'm actually moving forward. So a lot of times people are sitting at home and they have a hard time getting out and they kind of have to rock their body and get the body weight up to finally push themselves up. This way you would, um, so you're gonna move forward like this. So you get some space behind you. And then from here, you would, you know, use the arms of your chair and stand up from here. Okay, and then act, sit down, you know, make sure you look back and it's safe and then get back in your chair. So it's a lot easier than having to do it um, from all your weight being back here. So we're gonna do that a couple more times. Go forward and back. Um, a lot of times, and I know these past couple of years since COVID, it's, you know, you're, you're a lot more sedentary. So sometimes this will be hard for you, so just do what you can. Um, if you're um, in a wheelchair, it's, it's hard, it's weaker because you've been sitting for so long, but just do what you can. And um, as you do the exercise, you will get stronger. And a lot of these exercises, sometimes when I teach this class, I teach it at the Senior Center in Ipswich and Gloucester. Um, the seniors that are in my class say that a lot of these exercises are very similar to the ones they've been taught in physical therapy and occupational therapy. Um, and that's also another thing that we provide um, folks in the PACE program. 
an opportunity to come use our gym and work with therapists and work on your functional movement so you can stay as independent as you can. So we're gonna try something different. I'm gonna put myself to the edge of my chair so I have some space behind me, feet on the ground. We're gonna lean forward and we're gonna reach down. And we're just gonna pull back and then put it down. So this is gonna help you like with reaching down and picking something up from a lowered position, whether it be a bag or maybe it's your grandchild, you wanna pick them up, put them on your lap or you drop something. This is gonna keep you safe so you don't fall out of your chair when you lean forward. So you're gonna come down and just pull it back and retract. My back is flat and I'm just pulling back. Back and then right back down. So you just wanna keep breathing. Awesome, you're doing a great job. Good. So with the PACE program, we, like I said, we do provide everything medically necessary to you when you come on board with us. Um, all your medical care is provided for you, your medication, your dental, your hearing aids, your glasses, um, transportation, everything that, is, um, that you need to make your life easier is provided through us. Good, so now this time we're gonna come up and we're just gonna extend our arms behind us and then we're gonna bring it down. Bring it up, extend it back. Good, just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm gonna turn my chair. So I'm gonna come up and then extend. So what we're doing here is we're working the tricep on the back of our um, arm, on the back here, to bring that um, some more strength. Good. I'm gonna do that two more times. And then we're gonna do it last time. Okay, good. All right. And then since you're already at the edge of your chair, I want you to stand up and we're gonna do a couple um, standing exercises. If you're um, up for that, let's try it. Bring it, bring it up. I'm gonna stand right behind your chair. And the first thing we're gonna do is the heel toe lift. And I'll, I'll stand to the side just so you can see what I'm doing with my feet. So this is kind of um, the thing that I do to help prepare your feet for exercise. It um, helps um, with circulation, balance, walking, stair climbing. Um, so you're gonna keep your feet a little bit apart and we're just gonna come up on your toes and then back on the heels. We're gonna hold on for support. We're gonna come up and then back. So that kind of works the back of your um, legs and this is for the front of your legs. So back and forth, because we just sat down for a long time. So this kind of gets your feet ready. Good. All right. Very good. And we're gonna do um, a side leg lift now. So we're gonna stand right here and just do side to side. Right and left. And if it hurts you to lift, you don't have to even lift too high. You can just step out to the side and then bring it in and then do the other side and bring it in. So you're still shifting your body weight right and left. So you're working your balance. Good, right and left, or you can lift it. Awesome, a lot of hip work. Keep your legs really strong. Good. Let's try for four more. Great. Okay, good. So now we're gonna do um, a back leg tap. So we're really not even gonna lift our leg here. We're just gonna tap it back and then bring it in and then tap it back and bring it in. So we don't, we used to lift our leg. Um, all these exercises have been adapted through the Arthritis um, Foundation of America. I've been a volunteer for a long time with them. So um, we don't wanna overextend our hips. So we're just tapping back right and left. That's great. So, um, like I said, we take care of people all across the North Shore and Cape Ann. We actually take care of um, the sisters here in Ipswich, the Sisters of Notre Dame um, on Jeffrey Neck Road. Wonderful, wonderful people. Um, we contract with Harbor Light Homes. They have properties in Gloucester, Rockport, Beverly, wherever you call home. Good, we're gonna do one more time on each side. Awesome. All right, and then come right back to the center. 
And we're going to just have a seat. All right. Very good. All right. We're going to go back to our hands. We're going to do, um, this is going to help you with like fine motor activities, whether it be writing, buttons, zippers, um, putting on your jewelry, just like picking up change off a table, um, cutting utensils, eating. We're going to um, tip to tip with your first finger and your thumb. We're going to open up. And then the middle finger connects with your thumb. Open the ring finger and then the pinky. And I just go right backwards from the pinky. And I really want to make sure you do the tips because that makes a better circle as opposed to if you did the pads of your fingers, they're kind of still straight. So I want you to curve it over. And that really gets that last little knuckle on the end of your finger. So I'm just holding my hands up here so you can see what I'm doing, but you can rest your hands down if you'd like and just do it right here on your lap. Little finger O's, these are called. Yep, and it's just gonna help keep your fingers nice and strong, um, maintain your grip and your grasp. Good. This one's for your thumb, for your thumb flexion. And we're just gonna reach across and touch the bottom of your ring finger and then open up. So your thumb just goes back and forth, over and then out. Very simple, but very effective. And you can just hold your hands right here and just go back and forth. Yep. I'm gonna do it one more time. And then we're gonna have our hands come on our lap and we're gonna do the finger lift. So we're just gonna lift your fingers straight up. I'm gonna do one more time. Okay, good. Um, let's see, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna stand up again. Actually, we're gonna go with the hip walk. So don't stand up without doing the hip walk first. So get that body towards the edge of your chair. Use the arms of your chair and then push yourself up. And we're gonna take it back behind the chair again. This time we're gonna stand to the side. And I'll just, right here, we're gonna take um, one leg across your body and then bring it down. So we're gonna come across midline and then bring it back. So we did one to the side, so now I gotta go opposite. So work on the in, inside part of your hip and bring it across. Another thing that we started doing um, during the pandemic was, um, well, we had to deliver care in a different way because our care centers weren't open at the time. And our care centers um, are the medical offices, our doctor's offices attached to a day program that people would come during the day and do activities and um, leisure events, have, you know, they could do personal care there. We had showers, meals, the whole bit. But after the pandemic, we had to close our doors for a little while. We're open again back now, but um, we delivered um, computer tablets to people at home so they could interface with their providers, FaceTime. They could also use it to get on the internet. They could use it to make phone calls. And it was great because it runs on cellular, cellular data. Um, you don't even need Wi-Fi. So people can make phone calls, call their, their friends, their family, and their um, medical providers as well, as well as play games. So it's really helpful to stay people engaged and um, healthy at home for, you know, here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do the other side. Um, because, you know, when you're stuck at home and you get really bored and it's, it's not good not to have anything to do. So this gave people a lot of things to do um, during their time as well. They can listen to music, the radio. So the, um, it's called a grand pad. And I'm going to have a couple of brochures and I'm going to either leave here in the studio. I'm going to bring them over to the local um, senior center for more information as well as our brochures. So you can always ask anybody here. Um, about the program. But you can call yourself and you can um, see if you're a good candidate. You talk to Andrea on the phone and she's the one that does a little intake with you and um, see what your needs are, see if you would make a good candidate and then we would send a home visit, um, a nurse out to your home to see um, and meet you, Katie. We have a couple of Katie nurses, Katie and Katie. <laughs> so um, they're the ones that really meet you and help 
do the paperwork and the mass health application if needed and get you started and benefiting from all of our, our uh, aspects of the program. And do one more time. All right, great. I'm gonna come on down. You can have a seat. And this is just a, um, just a snapshot of all the, the uh, exercise that we do. I'm gonna come back again and do some other ones with you again. So we're just gonna close out with a big hug. We're gonna reach around. If you bring your head forward, you'll feel a nice stretch in the back of your neck. And then come out and then switch again. Give yourself a big hug. We don't give hugs enough, especially now. <laughs> Miss hugging your loved ones, but when you can, please do so and then give yourself a lot of credit for doing class today. And then learning about a benefit here on the North Shore for you. We've been here on the North Shore for over 20 years and it's a great benefit for people. They always say, I wish I'd known about it sooner. All right, nice deep breath in. And then exhale. And then inhale. And exhale. Great. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, next time we'll do some different activities. And again, if you have any uh, questions about the program, you can always uh, visit us at www elementcare.org for more information um, or you can always call us toll free at 1-877-803-5564. Thank you again and take care. Be well.